Okay, so here's episode three. Something I've really been trying to wrestle with during these weird times is um, giving myself patience and um, grace to make mistakes. And one of the things that I realized, and I, I haven't seen anybody else make this comparison, but I'm sure it has been made, that I feel like I'm in the movie Groundhog Day, where um, Bill Murray gets up and it's the same day every single day, and he can make small choices that kind of ripple through and um, have positive or negative effects, depending on what he does. And um, that's, I think when all of this began, that was a, a source of real anxiety. Uh, wake up and just feel like it's the same damn day every single day and that that's not going to stop for months. But um, yesterday, or today, I sort of took it as a an invitation to make positive change. And that really made all the difference in my day and really allowed me to stay present to the small choices I was making. So I hope that's helpful for anybody else who's listening, which made me think of a poem by Lucille Clifton that's probably one of her more famous poems called Won't You Celebrate With Me? Um, and to be clear, Lucille Clifton was an African-American woman, um, and this poem is definitely about her experience um, living with and in those identities, uh, which I do not have. Um, and at the same time, I think that's what makes the poem so um, accessible. She's able to get to the universal through the specific of her experience. And um, Richard Rohr, uh, a sort of public theologian who I follow through his daily emails, has been writing a lot about how we might think about our current moment theologically. And um, he writes a lot about suffering. And not that life is by its necessity suffering, but that suffering can bring connection in ways that other emotions and other states can't. So anyway, this is Won't You Celebrate With Me by Lucille Clifton. Won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into a kind of life? I had no model, born in Babylon, both non-white and woman. What did I see to be except myself? I made it up here on this bridge between starshine and clay, my one hand holding tight my other hand. Come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. There's something also a little bit too close to home about um, those last couple lines. And um, I also don't want to feel like I'm slighting people who have lost others, people that they care about in this pandemic. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll get it one day, um, but not today. Today was a good day. And I'm going to chalk it up. Have a good night, everybody.